Music lives locked in the midday chop up with your girl Erin Green. And right now, the time is all about chat trap talking about what's happening in the media today. Keep you bumping right there. Tiger Money Bag Yo with Splash. And let's talk about what's going on. And chat trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. There's only one place you need to shop for your hair, skin, baby items, grocery, and the household. It's at the Village Drug and Beauty Supply store located at number 57 Alexandria Boulevard, NASA. Village. You can get 20% off the premium now at the Village Drugs and Beauty Supply Store. Just call them at 393-3419 or WhatsApp them at 441-3943. So, this is indeed the season of divorce. And I'd say divorce really started, well, at least, you know, a lot of it has really been going on since the year 2020. Last year, I would say, is the cause of all this divorce. It's happening today, but Right now, Babyface and his wife, Nicole Pattenberg, are calling it quits after just over seven years of marriage. And they originally started dating back in 2007 and had gotten married in 2014. But as we know it, all good things come to an end. And that's exactly what's going on with this situation. But Babyface and his wife actually issued a joint statement on social media where they made sure to point out their mutual respect for one another and that their top priority is their 12 year old daughter Peyton but so far there's no word exactly what led to their decision to go their separate ways uh, sometimes I just hope that you know people can work it out especially when you've been together for umpteen years it's almost like that whole fairy tale you know forever everlasting or you know it's just it really is a fairy tale now it's really not what we thought it was going to be because you just see so many people that's been married for years decide to call it quits and while some men move on and never look back once divorced lamar odom shared that he still loves his ex-wife chloe kardashian and he would get back together with her in a heartbeat especially now since she allegedly split from her baby father tristan thompson as we did see lamar odom he took to social media and had commented on a picture that Chloe and that Chloe Kardashian had posted and he said haughty and Tristan Thompson did not he did not like it at all he was not here for it and he said to him he responded by telling him God brought you back the first time we all know what that means he's saying that you know of course the whole situation where Lamar Odom he had actually almost died from a drug addiction and God brought him back so I don't know it's just if it's a threat or if it's not one but sources close to Chloe it stated that Chloe will always have a sweet spot for Lamar in her heart, but she has no interest in rekindling a romantic relationship. So at this point, maybe he should just dead it and don't embarrass himself on social media. But WhatsApp is one of the main apps that we use to communicate daily, and it's either connected to our phones, laptops, or tablets. But they're recently testing a new feature that will let users send and receive messages even if your phone battery is dead. So they are now allowing us to link WhatsApp to more than one device at the same time, so you can actually link up to four devices. So you know they tell you, okay, you can only use one number on your phone, and then if you have what's up on your tablet, you have to use another number. But what it is now is you can have that same number on your phone, on your laptop, and on your tablet, which is a good thing because sometimes, you know, these devices do go dead. We don't have a charger present. So it's good that they are doing this right now. But you end-to-end -end encryption will still work under this new system. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. But I really want to ask you guys right now, do you remember MTV Crips back in the 2000s when we used to watch the lifestyles of all our favorite celebrities, seeing what they would do daily, seeing, you know, their cars, their homes, and, yeah, just different things they would share with us and some things we really just didn't know. And I must say, I miss back then, like, MTV Crips always used to show that the females, you know, female artists in the game, they always had a gym in their home, and they'd show you how their workout, or they'd tell you um, their workout schedules, introduce you to their trainers, and show you exactly what they eat. But it seems as though plastic surgery is just taking over so much. Women don't even promote working out as much anymore. 
at least in the business. And they just basically kind of push plastic surgery. If you gain weight, hey, just go to the doctor. But <laughs> nonetheless, MTV Cribs is coming back. <laughs> and it's actually going to be out. That's starting the first episode August 11th at 9.30 p.m. with new 30-minute episodes. So I'm excited to see that. So I'll be on the lookout for it. But that's it for Chat Trap. Let you know what's happening in the media. And Chat Trap was brought to you by Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. No fear, the Village Auto Parts is here. They have coaster bus parts, clutch disc starters, alternators, tail lamps, brake rotors, American and Japanese vehicle parts, the Village Hardware Store located at Alexandria Boulevard, Nassau Village. You want to call them today and let them know exactly what part you need and trust and believe they will find that part for you. Call them at 601-4746-601-4752 or WhatsApp 525-9159.